So, in trying to define and understand better what sabermetrics is, let's start with Bill James' first definition in 1980. And what he says is, it's the mathematical and statistical analysis of baseball records. Merriam-Webster substitutes the word data instead of baseball records, but it's still pretty close to Bill James' original definition. They also have a nice URL here to pronounce the word sabermetrician for us. They also give us the origin of the word sabermetrics. But Merriam-Webster actually gets the date wrong. I'm sure that's just a typo. First known use was obviously 1980. As we moved on to the OED, their variation on the definition, very similar again to Bill James, the statistical analysis of baseball records piece. Then they add this new piece that sabermetrics is about evaluating players. Finally, when we look at the American Heritage Dictionary version, they talk about team evaluation for team success instead of just players, instead of just looking at baseball records. So there's subtle differences between each of these definitions. The American Heritage Dictionary also adds another clause about how these new statistical categories are more complex than traditional baseball statistics. So hopefully it's clear that each of these definitions is slightly different. They're not exactly what we might think of as the encompassing de definition of what sabermetrics is today. I want to show you something interesting though. Google has this tool under Google Books called the Ngram Viewer. But what I've done is put the word sabermetrics into the Ngram Viewer. Now the Ngram Viewer, what it does is measure word usage, the word sabermetrics, how it's been used in books that have been scanned by the Google Books project. So from 1975 to 2008, Sabermetrics has been used not, not much relative to many other words, but we can see the pattern of usage here of the word sabermetrics in books. You can clearly see the increasing usage of the word. It's getting much more popular, and this is, uh, this is in 2008, so it's still a while back. One nice trend here is, of course, it was, it was started in 1980, and you can see the increasing use of the word through the 80s, but this is the year, 1988, where Bill James starts, excuse me, when Bill James stops writing his baseball abstracts. And it seems like it fades away for a while and then has a rebound here. Now, Moneyball, the book, is published in 2003, which is right about here. But the increase in sabermetrics occurs before that, and clearly there's an increase after that as well. It might be interesting to consider potential hypotheses around why, you know, what the increase was here, what was going on in the world of sabermetrics, increasing the word usage inside books. Another look at this Ngram viewer, which is interesting, looking at the word sabermetrics, sabermetric, putting in Cal Ripken here, and also sabermetrician. You can see the increasing usage of sabermetrician, the adjective sabermetric, and also it's interesting to think about how Cal Ripken's name has been used in books over time from where his peak might have been. Another interesting use of the Ngram tool from Google Books is to look at the word usage of the four major sports. Now, one thing I did do here is I did make it the American English version of the Ngram view. We're looking at American English books. Since these are looking at American professional sports, baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. And you can see these interesting trends. They might talk about something about popularity, maybe popularity just within writers, writers of books. But you can see this baseball sort of overtook football in American publications. And now they're coming closer together. You might want to just play around with this Ngram viewer. It's a nice way to look at different word usage. I just thought it'd be interesting for people to see this tool 
as it relates to the key word that we're looking at, which is sabermetrics. How has the word been used? Since it is a new word, we can track its changes and its use, use since 1980 and also compare it to other, other things as well. This is a fun tool. I encourage you to use it for various projects you might be interested in.